Hey, VC, Jeff, uh, back again. Um, a little earlier this time, um, a little more uh, work at home uh, time. So I uh, got a pretty big stack pretty early on in the week. So let's just get through it because I can be working later this week too. So, hey, um, pretty much most of the stuff I've shown, but not probably not all. So just. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this shown up on the VC before. Excellent comp. Um, yeah, I think she gets, you can toss her in with like the EA girls close enough. Uh, but this is a Japanese pressing. It's, um, actually, all that's kind of cool. So it's a uh, gatefold and whatnot. Uh, I think there's like a full booklet or something on there. A lot of these Japanese gatefolds have that. Uh, yep. Yeah, so it's got like a booklet or whatever in here. But, um, yeah, pretty pretty cool. Um, not as background music -y as I was expecting <laughs> in my mind. Uh, it's been a while since I listened to that. But uh, yeah, excellent comp. Um, I, I mean, your stuff shows up in the VC every once in a while, but uh, I give it like yeah four and a half for a comp. It's, it's pretty solid. You see it worth picking up. And I don't think well, it used to not go for a lot, but I don't know if you see it shows up on the VC sometimes. So yeah. Uh, this one I haven't thrown on in a while, so, uh, Wooden Ships, uh, this was from a few years back, had some, it was like a blood splatter on clear, like, I guess, I don't know, blood, red, red splatter on clear, whatever. Um, excellent album, is this essential? Probably not, it's not, um, yeah, it's not, not breaking any new ground, really, but, it's, you know, it's kind of that, just kind of like that new psych vert slash jam band kind of stuff, but damn good at it. Uh, I don't know if I go quite as a five just because of that, but at four and a half, it's pretty damn good. Um, that's a good starting point for them. They have quite a few albums though. Um, Wooden Gyps on, I think that's Thrill Jockey. I think the regular price might be black. That's like maybe a special edition or something. Um, this is a comp I picked up. I'm gonna just get rid of my rest, rest of my Arlo. Pretty much only one you need. Again, um, pretty solid comp. Um, not the hugest Arlo guy, so I'll give this a four. Which it's, it's a pretty solid listen. Got Alice's Restaurant, obviously, which is pretty much why I bought it. Um, so I'm going to purge the rest of my Arlo and hold on to this. Uh, this I think it's a reissue. Sounds great. It's a four star there worth it for that uh, that track, I guess, because I don't think you're going to find that on a 7-inch. Um, this one's excellent. Um, where's, uh, Rush, hold on, this is, uh, well, it says Roland Kirk, look at featuring Elvin Jones, there you go. Um, this is Elvin Jones, uh, Jackie Bard in, on piano, and Richard Davis on bass, and Roland Kirk, multi-instrumentalist on tenor sax, Manzilla, wherever the hell that is, Stritch, Castanet, and Siren on this guy. Um, so a little free jazzy, little post-pop, I guess. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty damn good album. Um, I don't know if I go quite as a five, but it, at least a four and a half, but that's a damn good one. It's a pretty good stack here. Um, so recommend this one. Roland Kirk Quartet title is Toltego? No. What what's that say? I can't even read that. <laughs> panic rip rig, panic rip rig. Okay. Panic rig. Something like that. Anyway, Japanese pressing. That was like a like a nineties pressing or something. It's a little unusual in Japan, but Yep, got this from a friend. Awesome. Bob. Marley, uh, Kaya, uh, I forgot what the big one on this one is, but yeah, there's definitely some radio tracks on here. Uh, you know it, you love it. That's not one, probably a four though, but excellent. So if you see it, pick it up. I don't think it goes for a ton still. Probably not here. That's good. I'll show that next later. Uh, showing this a while back. So this is uh, Jiro, you know, Gaki and a Soul Media Head Rock. Um, probably, I would probably give this a second, second best album. I don't know. Um, at the time, they hadn't 
it was hard to get a hold of the reissues of my favorite album, but so I got this one instead. But yeah, it's, it's probably the only one I need really. Um, it's it's probably worth seeking out maybe one of his. Uh, it's you know it's got a lot of that you know that wah wah kind of sound going on. It's like a little it's like influenced. I think this one had uh, yep, it's got spoonful on it. <laughs> Head rock, of course, tech is the um, title track the amp. And, so it, it's a product of the era. Um, is it essential? Probably not, but it's it's, it's, it's worth at least streaming. So uh, Jiro Nagaki Head Rock. Um, I forget the best one. Is, it's kind of like a gray background. It's got like some funky posterized um, image of them on the cover. I forget what it's called, but yeah. yeah, I might pick it up eventually. But that's good enough for me now. But Probably pretty solid for. Uh, just threw this on because you know this is basically background music at this point. I don't listen to an album enough, but um, one of, one of my favorite Bowies for sure. Heroes, David Bowie, Berlin, whatever. Four and a half. I'm not I'm not quite a five, but it's uh, pretty damn solid. This one's pretty damn solid too. Another one I got from a friend. First pressing of uh, Rap Type by Holman Hawkins. Um, yeah, Bebop, pretty straightforward, you know it, um, early, I think that's a pretty early impulse, 80, 87, so, pretty, pretty good if you see it, um, these ones I think do go for a bit, though, but I'm sure the represses aren't quite as bad, um, four and a half on that, pretty solid, and, yeah, this little cheese, <laughs> Bonnie Tyler, faster than the speed of light, it's got, of course, faster than the speed of light, but it's got most notably uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart, Have You Seen the Rain, and There's a Jungle Out There, which were all radio hits. Title track wasn't quite as popular, I think, but yeah, I picked this up three or four years ago. Monkey, it seems like unplayed. Great album. It's four and a half, but it's not, not exactly high art. It's that, uh, what would you call that, pop country? This one's really good, though. Um, Still working through the booklet, reading it, but uh, Shintaro Quintet, um, Evolution. I was kind of debating getting this on vinyl or not, but I don't know. Yeah, when you got like a $40 album, $10 CD, uh, I don't know. I, I, was, I was really debating this one, but I just went with the CD. <laughs> um, again, not, not quite a five, but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty damn solid album. Um, easy four and a half. Um, so I think you could throw it in like a post bop kind of thing. Um, definitely not free jazz or anything. So Steve, you might actually like this one. Um, yeah, it, it looks like it would be like a um, what do you call it? It's a, like a spiritual jazz kind of thing, but it's really not what's good on there. So yeah, it's like post jazz, uh, post bop, um, uh, maybe a little modal, whatever. It's, it's in that ballpark. Uh, pretty damn good. I think it was an like early '80s release, but it wouldn't. It sounds like it would have come out of uh, like late '60s, or not late, not even late '60s, uh, like early to early to mid '60s is what it sounds like. But it was it was really a '80s album. Um, the originals would have had this OB strip on them. I'm just reading through the booklet, finding out about this guy. Um, I've shown some of these before, but yeah, if you ever see uh, this one, that one, that's a solid five. Um, I actually want to get this one too, I'm a, a kind of beige one in the corner. I remember that being good. Anyway, um, yeah, a uh, lot of these reissues are pretty good. Um, so, packaging is nothing special, it's just like a, what do you call it, digi back or whatever. It just slides in there. Um, but yeah, worth that one's worth checking out. Highly recommend this album. Um, they're, it's not that hard to get a hold of vinyl. It's just for us in the States, it's an import. So unless you get the CD, which is smaller, obviously it's going to cost you a bit more. Um, yep. Yeah, pick this up. Uh, it was a thrift find not too long ago. Uh, Sugar, Copper Blue. Um, never been a huge Bob Mold fan. It was a pretty decent album. Um, pretty pretty typical 90s uh, alt rock I'd say. <laughs> uh, pretty solid four there. I don't think I ever had a lot of radio play, curiously. Um, yeah, here's a little more far out there. 
Hoto Hoto Togisu. I'm pretty sure I got this one from Sean, but um, drone. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're Japanese. Yeah, they have, I know they're Japanese. Judging from the cover. Okay. But anyway. Yep. So it's, it should be a double album. I was missing one, but yeah. Uh, the first list, like, I would have given it a five. I, I'm kind of downgrading a little bit. I think it's one of those albums you're definitely going to be in the mood for. It's probably like a headphone, chill in the chair, throw it on uh, after a hard day of work kind of thing. I, I made the mistake of trying to listen to it while I was trying to work. So I'm downgrading a little bit, but I, I think, yeah, I don't know. My first listen was definitely a five. I might be pulling it down to the four, four somewhere in four, four and a half, but um, definitely here's someone out, but it, it is a damn good album there. Um, I think that one is available on vinyl. Uh, this one, I think, too. Uh, Cassius 1999. Um, this was their debut album. Um, yeah, if you, if you like Stereo Lab, you probably can dig them. Um, their second album would have that I Heart You or something, that whatever that song was called, that, which was a minor hit. So I think that's my introduction to them. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty solid album. If, if you like Stereo App, you probably like these guys in, in that, um, that that kind of ballpark, I guess. Stereo is probably slightly better, but these guys are still pretty good. Um, pretty, uh, pretty solid album. Pretty, pretty solid uh, four there. And yep. Nostalgia there. Digital Underground, Sex Packets, of course, title song, Sex Packets, but this is the one that had Humpty Dance on it. It's actually a pretty solid album. It's surprising. Um, yeah, it's pretty consistent. I might even go up to four and a half on this guy. It's, it's, it's pretty damn good if you see it. I, I probably wouldn't pay a lot for vinyl, but uh, see the CD, yeah, buy it all day long. I'm pretty sure they're going to go for a bunch. Uh, so, yep, so take care, guys, and uh, man, I'll probably catch you later in the week because uh, I'm going to have a lot of uh, time at home this week, I think. Take care.